Dear students, welcome to the video lecture of Array of Structures Part Two. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about the a program. Okay, the program which uh, get the roll number, name, and five subjects mark of the student to calculate the total and average, and to calculate whether the student is fail or pass the subject. Okay, I am declaring a, a structure equal to sli i o dot h and I equal to string function string dot h to header file string dot h and I include uh, standard input of header sli o dot h. I am declaring a struct student so structure name is student. It will contain an integer roll number, a name, a character variable. It will uh, it will take up to twenty five characters. Actually, an array integer array mass will store the Mark of the five subjects: an integer variable total, a float variable over average, and a result, a character variable result. Okay, the, the, okay, the result actually to store like a pass or fail. Okay, so so these are all uh, the part of the the structure student. I declare a okay an integer variable n and i sum and j. So here I am declaring structure variable inside the main uh, struct uh, struct student s uh, s hundred. So the structure can store up to uh, hundred records. Okay, so records are the hundred students. So ask the user by using a printf statement enter the number of students by using scanf I store the result in the variable n. For input I am uh, writing a, a loop variable. I ask the user enter the for i equal to zero i less than i plus plus enter the roll number of the student percent uh, the i one and percentage d i plus one actually array starts from zero but on display it will uh, show first student second student and third student that's why I am giving i plus one and scan up by using scan up statement I store the roll number in the an integer array or no so initially s of zero the first student record will be stored in s of zero dot roll number and enter the name of the student i plus one student one and the name which is entered by the user will be stored in the character a name. Okay, yes. for example, i is zero, s of percentage, yes, it's a permit specifier, s of i, s of i means zero, s of zero dot name. And I'm initializing variable totally equal to zero and string uh, copy, function string copy function, I'm storing an initial value, in the result, character a result, okay, as a pass. So I ask the user to enter the five subject marks using a printf statement. I'm writing loop j loop uh, j equal to zero j less than five that means loop will go from zero to four five hundred for five marks j plus plus so scan of percentage d s of zero no, s, s of i means s of zero i value is zero now okay and it's zero dot marks of zero uh, then what it will do it will add total equal to s of zero comma marks of zero then j will become one s of zero plus mark of first subject and uh, j become to second subject third and fourth it will all added in the the way the memory variable total. I am comparing that if uh, actually what I am doing in meanwhile, I am doing what I am doing, I'm comparing each subject. Okay, if instead S of zero equal to mark uh, marks of zero less than 50 is scoring uh, less than 50 in the any subject, immediately what will happen? The status of the character variable result will change to fail. Initially, initialized to as a pass. Now, what I'm doing, the student or student's result will become a fail. S of zero means actually the first student, okay. Is uh, scoring less than 50 on subject means immediately status will change to zero. Okay, after entering all, uh, likewise, each subject will be compared. If you, you should score above 50 in all the subject, what will happen? Okay, then only 50 and above, then, then it will result is pass, otherwise, it will be fail. So, after uh, totaling all the five subject mark, I'm calculating the average. So, uh, SI dot average, okay, so float variable equal to SI dot total dot five because only this we are having, we are giving mark five subjects, okay, total divided by five, SI dot total divided by five equal to become an average. So, like this, what will happen? Okay, we will calculate the again, I is become one, then the second student, okay, roll number, second student name, and second student total will be zero, second student's result, okay, so one result equal to pass, and ask you to enter the subject of five marks, okay, uh, first two is so J is become zero, S of one dot mark of zero. Is, uh, is, is applied by using scan of statement. I'm adding the total, I'm comparing that. Okay, 
if a sf or a mark of 0 less than 50 it will be fail likewise all the five subjects will be compared then average sf1 dot average equal to sf1 dot dot by 5 okay likewise okay for the 0 to 4 five students records will be okay their roll number their name and the five subjects mark and total average and result okay everything will be stored so after that i am for printing what i am doing i am printing for i am writing a loop okay for i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus okay the student percentage d i plus one so student one student two for example i can give i even here okay on i plus one and one okay i print roll number equal to si dot roll number okay initially i equal to zero then s of zero dot name i'm printing five subjects mark j equal to zero j less than five j plus plus okay because uh, every student's having a five subjects that's why i have to print it like this okay i'm adding a statement that okay the mark of subject percentage d mass of subject percentage d equal j plus one okay it means okay students First, uh, the mark of one subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four, subject five should come. So we are storing from zero to four. So for display purpose, I am using this. Okay, J plus one means subject one, and the marks. Okay, S of one, uh, S of zero dot mark of zero will be displayed here. Then average will be displayed here. Result will be displayed here. So then uh, I is become one. Okay, then first student, then the second student. Uh, uh, okay, student two is roll number, its name, its five subjects mark, its average result will be shown. Likewise, okay, zero to four. Okay, five students result will be displayed. So this is our logic of the program. Okay, now we will run the program and check the result. Okay, enter the number of students. So I am giving it as a three students. So student number one. Okay, roll number is one. His name is Arun. And five subjects mark. I am giving it as a sixty. 80, 90, 70, and 80, 80. Okay. So enter the roll number of second student. His name, Bharat. Bharat. His five subjects mark, okay. 70. So I'm giving less than 15 one subject. And 60, 50. And 50. So the uh, student number three is roll number three. Name Kannan. Five subjects mark 80, 90, 90, 80, and 95. Okay, now my record entry is over. It displays the result. See here. This result is coming out okay roll number uh, student one roll number one name arun five subjects mark okay subject of 160 260 390 470 580 average 76 result is passed for a second student okay what i entered okay i gave a mark as a less than 15 on subject two okay 70 40 60 50 50 so average is 54 what will come this result is he's failed in one subject okay i guess student three Student three, the marks are given here. Subject one is 80, subject two is 90, subject three is 90, subject four is 80, subject five is 95. Average 87 and result is passed. So this is the way we are creating a record. So this is my data entry. After that, okay, my results are coming. Done for every student, result is displayed here. It's a very significant program. Okay, uh, that's it for the class and thanks for watching the video.